The essay discussed God's greatest demonstration of love. I had only three options. His incarnation, his crucifixion, or his physical transformation into the host itself. What would you have said? <laughs> You do not have an opinion. What Sor Juan Inés de la Cruz does. And she said, none of the above. <laughs> a demonstration of love comes at great cost to the giver and at great utility to the receiver. So, for example, if she just crossed the desert and now comes to you begging for water and you give her a cup of water, then your gesture gave her great utility but it really did not come at great cost to you, did it? She may then interpret your action as a deep love for her. And you may even believe that it was, when in fact, you're under the spell of your own self-importance in relation to her. <laughs> now, on the other hand, if you went out on a hunt and endangered your life to offer her a buffalo, <laughs> she welcomes the gift but because she does not eat meat, she will have to feed it to the dogs. <laughs> then your action gave her no utility, but it did come at great cost to you, and therefore only served you. You may then justify your excessiveness as a deep love for her, when in fact it was just a misplaced effort in your part. <laughs> <laughs> Al Antonio does not move. He did not come here to negotiate, but to impose a holy prescription to save my soul from perdition. So, Luana, you must stop all this questioning. Only prayer and mortification can grant you means. Yes, and I will clear up your cell. So, uh, if I ever catch you, sir, 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 Bring me 
the jewelry, which I sell, and books and instruments, which I keep dealing with. 